hello students in this video lecture of solid works we'll take one more exercise in part modeling that you could see on the screen now this is the sketch with three different views followed by solid model now you we need to decide which is the view need to be drawn on the screen initially in the sketch mode if it is front view you need to select front plane if it is top view you need to select top plane so here from this particular sketch better to draw top view first because the boundary outer boundary of the top view not going to affect any of the features upcoming features that we are going to place now if you consider the front view front view is the boundary of the front view is a combination of different features which is uh, not possible to draw it will take more number of steps to draw it is possible but it will take more number of steps to draw okay uh, for to reduce or to optimize the design i'll consider top plane followed by a sketcher i'll make it normal to the window simply i'll consider this particular top view i'll take a rectangle then i'll start drawing a rectangle from here a right click exit select now take smart dimensions now it is maintaining a horizontal length of 70 mm fine and a width of 40 now the re complete rectangle got defined okay to this particular rectangle to this rectangle you could see two fillets on two either sides so you can directly select a fillet and maintain a radius of 10 select these two corners okay then say okay now this is how the outer boundary of top view then say okay come out of sketch exit okay go to features extrude extrude the model up to a width of 20 mm that 20 mm you could see in the front view of the model okay i'll increase the value to 20 now this is done i'll just say okay fine this is how the model will appear now this particular model is not going to affect other features okay now i need to construct some l section wall on that particular base before that i'll try to remove a circular hole out of it i'll select top face sketcher keep the model normal okay take a circle now where to place this particular circle is a question if you consider the midpoint of this edge don't click anywhere just take this point as a reference and move your cursor slowly you can place it anywhere on the space right click select now with respect to this uh, this particular line this edge and this edge it is placed centrally but with respect to this edge we need to specify or we need to define it go to smart dimension from this extreme end edge to the center of the circle the dimensions given are 50 mm i'll make it 50 enter now the circle is completely defined i have only one closed profile on the screen i can exit now now it is a step by step procedure okay go to extrude cut this time we are till now we are using extrude bose base go with extrude cut because we need to remove material from the existing component select okay rotate your component by using middle mouse button then say okay you know the depth now the depth of this particular component is 20 mm 20 mm is already there i'll say okay have a look material got removed fine now the in the next step what we try to do is we'll try to construct a wall to this particular corner now the dimensions are given in the component have a look to create that select the top face sketcher 
keep the model in normal position take a line start constructing okay start constructing a line on the extreme edge irrespective of the dimensions draw the shape first right click select okay i have constructed or i have drawn a sketch of l section but i haven't defined it yet i'll go to smart dimensions select smart dimension then define this edge distance as 10 mm which is given in the exercise this is also maintaining 10 mm define it again this length is also given in the question which is 30 fine everything is defined fine no need to define this edge because it is already aligned to the already existing edge just come out this is feature number 2 on the body uh, which is closed one is nf i'll just come out of the sketch mode and go to extrude i need to construct or develop this wall have a look now this particular l shape is extruded or added material up to a distance of 20 mm because uh, this material is already maintaining 20 mm this is also maintaining 20 mm i'll just make it 20 and say okay have a look this is constructed okay here one more feature need to be added to add this feature you can select this as your sketch plane you can draw a right angle triangle and you can extrude it that is one way but whenever you need to add a material between two already existing phases of 90 degrees you can use a new option called rip one more command you find here which is new to you try to understand this rib option select rib once you select rib it will ask you the plane on which plane would you like to place the rib this is the plane or a phase on which i would like to place the rib okay keep that plane normal to the window okay keep that plane normal to the window take a line now the rib is starting at the top corner ending at somewhere in this particular corner okay if you don't know exactly what you try to do is place it on the edge somewhere right click exit go to smart dimension and from this vertical edge till this point it is going to maintain a distance of 30 mm 3 0 enter sorry it is not now this point should come and meet with this particular vertical edge double click on the dimension make it 20 enter this is perfect okay to construct that rib only one single line is enough no need to close the loop or close the profile and once the sketch is done exit once you exit the rib option will ask you few questions what is the rib width rib width by default it is 10 the same thing is given in the question also maintain 10 mm but here you could see two yellow lines now the width maintained here is 10 mm between these two yellow lines but uh to this particular yellow line there is no material added here there is a chance to get an error what you try to do is shift this line from the line where you have drawn the sketch maintain 10 mm to the right so select this as your option thickness option this as your option only to the one side i would like to add feature of rib and check it out whether the arrow specified here is to the bottom or to the top side that can be flipped here material side can be flipped okay it is supposed to be to the bottom side then say okay this is your component ultimate component you got it okay this is how we'll develop the component this is one way of developing a component the com same component can be developed in many other ways okay but this is the best possible way best optimum way that we have developed with different features different commands different options okay now same can be seen 
uh, on this particular component you can use some other options like uh, how to use fillet on this edge you can practice them all okay but according to the lesson given this is how the component look like ultimately okay keep the component in isometric view this is how you do your component okay and you can give colors to the component also i can just go to edit appearances and i'll select you can select any of the colors the component may look something like this okay say okay this is how you develop a component any intricate shape any component can be developed by using all the features and sketch tools and that can be modified at any point of time okay uh, in the next upcoming lectures we'll see many more video lectures or many more exercises followed by we'll also discuss about how to edit the model at any level of the component thank you for now if you have anything to ask you can comment below in the box given thank you